Hey guys, Sam Short here from the Hotondo Homes Ballarat Miners. Welcome to week five of the Ballarat Basketball Homestay Pay Program. Uh, this week we're going to take you through some passing drills. Let's get stuck into it. Okay, so the first pass that I'm going to teach is the basic two-hand chest pass. Now, I will say for all these drills, you can use mum or dad or a brother or sister, or like me, just a wall on your house, but make sure it's not near anything that can break easily. Okay, so with the two-hand chest pass, I'm going to start with our thumbs up. I'm going to practice pushing the ball, pushing our thumbs down, okay? So the key is to push your arms and flick your wrists, so your thumbs go from the up position like so, as you push and flick your wrist, they end up down, okay? So I'll demonstrate with the ball, holding it nice and tight. You can see my thumbs are up like so. As I push, my thumbs point down, okay? If I just let the ball bounce past me and see my finishing position, you can see my thumbs go from up, I push, and now they're down, okay? Another key when you're passing is to take a nice big step as you pass. So a big step, thumbs up, to thumbs down, two hand chest pass. The next pass I'll be teaching is the bounce pass. It's very similar to the two handed chest pass, but this time, like the name suggests, it bounces before it gets to your teammate. Okay, so if I demonstrate against the wall again, I take what I learned from the two hand chest pass, I take a big step, my thumbs are up, and I flick them thumbs down and let it bounce, okay? Let's say the wall here is my target or my teammate, I want to make sure the ball bounces at least halfway, if not further, to my teammate, okay? So, I take a big nice step, thumbs up to thumbs down, it bounces, and if you've got a wall, if you don't have a, a mum, dad, brother, sister to, to play with, Make sure the ball comes and bounces back to you. So you want to push it hard enough that it can come back and bounce you with a bounce pass, okay? Big step, thumbs up, thumbs down, bounces back to you, the bounce pass. Next we have what's called the push pass. Now this is a little bit more advanced and requires just one hand but it's a great one if you're stuck in traffic with a few defenders around you, okay? So, for the push pass, it's as the name suggests, you're just pushing your arm forward, okay? So we're no longer going thumbs up to thumbs down with two hands. Now we're taking one hand, I'm a right hander, so I'll use my right hand, okay? Again, I'll take a step. This time it's with the same leg with your hand, okay? So I'm gonna pass with my right hand, so I'll step with my right leg, okay? Stepping with my right leg, I take the ball from my chest or from my shoulder and I just push it, okay? We're pushing the ball and flicking the wrist at the end, all right? So if I've got the wall here, take a big step, pushing the ball to my target on the full, let it bounce back to you like so, okay? If you want to practice with the other hands, you can. So I'll push with my left hand. This time I'll step with my left foot from my shoulder, pushing the ball to my target, push pass. The final pass that I'm going to teach is called the overhead pass. Now I only recommend this if you have nailed the other passes that I've demonstrated earlier, okay? So with this pass, as the name suggests again, the ball is going to start over your head and as you step, you're going to flick the ball with your arms and your wrists, okay? What we don't want to do is bring the ball right behind here because that's no good. It's going to, it might even hit your head on the way through as you go to pass it, okay? So just above your head like so and you're flicking your wrists. All right, so where you are standing for your, all your other passes, your chest pass, your bounce pass, take two or three big steps back to the wall, get it over your head, big step, and then flick it to the wall. Okay, nice and hard if you can, so let it come back to you on the full, or try and aim for the chest of your mum, dad, brother, or sister, the overhead pass. Thanks for watching week five of the Ballarat Basketball Homestay Play Program. I hope you're enjoying the content so far and we'll see you next week.